everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you my setup for uh, January using the new chapter collection from Coco Daisy. A bunch of fun things to share with you, some new things that we started with January. And at the end of this video, I'm going to go through um, the Daisy Planner and kind of show you how I've started my setup in our brand new six month daisy planner. So I'm excited about that. There's a few things that I wanted to show you. And um, so I'm just gonna jump in here and get started with January. I'm using a black Kiki K planner this month. I thought the black was perfect for all of the, the bright colors and we did have a lot of uh, bold black and white elements in the collection. So I thought that went really well. And I also really liked this interior pattern. Um, uh, with this kit. So it has a little bit of a different pocket setup than I normally use in my Vanderspecs, but I thought um, I would do a little something different than with the tags. I used actually for this smaller tag, I used one of the, um, the smaller size dashboards. In the dashboard kit or the dashboard set, there are two sizes. There's an A5 and a personal size. And I took the personal size and I cut it into a really large tag to just kind of fill in with these, um, um, fill in with these different size pockets. And then there was a cute little tag that came with the Daisy Planner. And I, I tried, I kind of failed. I haven't used an eyelet setter in a long time, so I'm gonna to have to try that again. But I tried um, putting an eyelet on there, so I guess I'm a little out of practice. But it, there are these really kind of fun little um, tags that you can use. It has our logo on the one side, and then on the other side it has this fun saying. So I thought, well, I'll just tuck that in there as well. And then I made another tag out of um, just some of the patterned paper. I put my one little word in there for the year. And um, I need to look up, and I wanted to add on one of them, uh, the definition of freedom. Uh, it just means a lot to me this year, just kind of freedom from stress, freedom from uh, just a lot of the things that we need to let go. So that's my word for the year. And I uh, used a lot of the printables. There was so many fun little things to cut out of the printables. Um, so you can see I've really kind of hacked through mine quite a bit. And uh, I loved the little clouds. So I tucked some of those in there, some of the birds. There's a couple coffee cups that I used. Um, so that is my little pocket set up there. Oh, and our cute little um, a rubber clip. And there's a charm. Let's see if you can see that. The little flying bird. That was, um, and you're going to have to forgive me. I've not had time to go back on the website. My mind is all the way into June, so I'm probably not going to remember what uh, everything was in which kits. So I apologize. <laughs> I didn't have time. I wanted to get this done. The but I believe you know what I'm not even going to say because I can't remember the the um, the little the clip charm, the rubber charm, and clip topper. I, they were either in the classified planner or in the uh, planner add-on edition. So one, one of those, I, I apologize, I can't, I can't remember. And then um, I did want to mention the pen and pencil because they are so fun and so graphic. We had in their opposites, which I thought was just so, so fun to do. So we had the the um, pen that was in the main kit and then the mechanical pencil and we don't do these very often they're quite um, expensive actually to have made so we don't do them very often but I had this one in the um, the planner add-on and we do have a number of um, a number of kits left different of the different kits left so I, I think we have some of just about everything like the the sticker kits I think we have a few of all of those but the daisy add-on we don't have that one anymore uh, we do have some main kits left we do have some um, planner add-ons but if you just go to the website and look we do we do have a few things left so some of the stuff that I'm showing you you can go and snatch up so I'm just gonna start flipping through this 
had this fun little speckled with these the colors in here and all of the bold fonts are so fun. I absolutely love this kit this month. So there's a little speckle overlay. And then, oh, one of the other new things that we had in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, there were something new. There was a set of four. So you all are familiar with like pocket cards or journaling cards. Well, we decided it would be fun to have some Traveler's Notebook cards. So these will fit in your Traveler's Notebook. You can use it as a cover, you can use it as a page, um, and I'll show you that a little bit later. I'll show you what I did with one of them. But um, these came in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and we're gonna um, start doing this because I think it's a really fun addition. So what I did though, just to kind of give you more ideas of how to, you know, how the crossover between, because it is all one collection, there's always so many fun things that you can do. If you wouldn't necessarily use it in your traveler's notebook, there's other ways that you can use these. So I always try to kind of show um, some other ideas. And what I did is I took one and I turned it into a bookmark. And this is my little bookmark that has I've had this in here for a few months now. I just took some of our common meals, uh, some of our go-to meals, and I printed that out and I laminated it. And it helps when I do my menu planning that I just kind of have that there. I can look at it and go, all right, these, you know, if I have no idea what to make for dinner, I can pull from those. So I just used that for the front and then just some pattern paper on the back, added, um, I fussy cut that from the um, printables and then uh, one of the stickers. And that's a reminder too, the, our die cuts, and I don't have any in front of me here, our um, die cuts in all of the kits are adhesive backed. So they are stickers. So make sure that you look and you can peel off the backing and our die cuts all have adhesive on the back. So I'm gonna go to my stripe pages and I did something, I discovered, um, I really like the colors that the Stamp Market offers as far as their colored um, ink pads. And I had this one and it's called Gravel and it's a really, really light gray when you stamp with it. And what I like about it is when I stamp on the colored stripes here, it almost gives a watermark effect. So it kind of enhances or darkens the color underneath of it and makes it, just kind of a, a real faint look. And I liked that. So I did that this month on the stripe pages. And um, as many of you know, if you watch my videos, what I do, I use the stripe pages as my brain dump to figure out what my week is gonna be. I just kind of write everything out and then kind of fill it in. And that gives me a great jumping off point um, when I do my daily, uh, when I write down my daily to do's. So I start out here. So this is kind of my schedule and I fill that all in from there. I just added a little bit of stamping, a couple stickers. The, um, the little bird stickers and the little quote bubbles were so fun. You'll see I used those quite a bit. And then on the back, I do my meal planning. So I'll lay out the week, um, I'll write in what I'm gonna do for my meals, and then I have, um, I just washi tape a little sheet of the notepad paper in here for my grocery list. And you can see I did some more stamping and I had a lot of fun with the stamps this month. Let me just show you these. So this is this beautiful um, thin alphabet. These are awesome. I'm gonna use these all the time. These are so, these are gonna, I'm gonna use these a lot in, in fact, I already did in my Daisy Planner. We have, I ordered a bunch of these just so we always have them in stock in the store. And these are, these did not come in any kit. These were a separate purchase. So you can go to the store and you can find these. And they're just the, um, a four by six alpha set. And then there was, and I have the sample, but I think you can kind of see the little bird set. You'll see I used those quite a bit. And that also was not in any kit. This was a separate, this is a separate purchase. And we do have some of these left as well. And then this one was in the, and I'll show you what I created with the, um, with our new modern memory keeping kit. And I used quite a few of this little stamp set and it has a layered, um, 
it has a layered uh, flower daisy in there. And I will, I've, I've not had a chance the last couple months. I did a video a couple months ago where I showed you a bunch of ways to combine all of the stamps and use them all together in different ways you can layer them. I'm gonna try really hard to be able to do that again uh, this month and share that with you. And then this is, um, um, these scribbles are new, but a while back I had used some of my older scribble stamps and we had a lot of people ask uh, to bring that back. So we did a new set. We didn't wanna copy the same exact one, but we, um, we brought back some really fun scribbles and these are great to layer as well. So you'll see where I used a little bit of that too. And then again, a little bit of stamping, the cute little birdies, and their quote bubbles. Worry less, smile more, I like that one. And then the little, um, that fussy cut that again from the printables. And then this fun uh, sheet of vellum with the squiggles on it. And this was in the, uh, the classified planner edition. I did remember that. So I'm gonna remember some of these. I'm gonna try really hard to remember some of these. And then we go into the week on two pages. And this is where I'll jot notes for uh, my memory keeping. I like to jot notes in here for my memory keeping. And you can see where I use the little bird stamp. And I did wanna mention one thing about the bird stamp. This little guy has this little note card that he's perched on. And that is meant to be used, you can either obviously write in that if you want, but the little um, sayings that are included in the stamp set are meant to be stamped inside of that little note card. So you can see, it says, today I'm winging it in his little note card there. And then one of the sticker sheets had these fun little numbered coffee cups, and I just stuck them back to back on my page to make a little tab. And then these, I believe, uh, were from one of the, so there was through, there was eight of them. And then this one, these were just a couple of uh, stickers from one of the sticker sets. So you can see I just added um, the numbers from the date and date sheet that you get in your main planner kit. Again, there's some of um, the die cuts, some more stickers from our sticker kits. And I'll go through those too. Mine are all kind of jumbled, but I can show them to you. I just had a lot of fun stamping the little birdies on here. And then a few stickers. And then the last page. And then your, um, this is one of the, uh, the, dashboards. This is the A5 size. I put that in there. I just added a couple of little glitter dots to it. Not a whole lot. I like the, the kind of open white space, the graphic feel of that. And then on um, this side, this is one of the printables. Again, just um, a couple of things. Alpha Puffy stickers, one of the chipboard arrows. I had this little Simon with his little... Um, mojito <laughs> that I added in there. And then I just ran uh, this printable through the printer and added that to it. And then one of the things that I wanted to show you that is a little different in my setup. So the personal size pages, so these are just like the A5, they're just obviously a little smaller. So they have all of the same pages in them. They're just a little smaller. They're the, uh, the personal size. If you go to our website, if you ever wonder what any of our sizes are, we have that listed in the FAQs. But I keep finding in, it's kind of an ongoing joke in the house that I can never find anything to write on when I wanna write a list or a note or anything like that. And I thought, you know what? I need to have some pages. I like the idea that they match everything, but I need some pages that I can throw in my planner that I can just jot a bunch of lists on if I have to give something to Mr. Daisy or I just need to write down to be able to take with me. So what I did is I pulled out um, the stripe pages from my small personal size set and I just punched them and I just stuck them in here. They're, they're pretty, they match everything and now if I wanna grab a, a smaller piece of paper to write a list on, I've got it right there. 
because I don't, I, I can't tell you how many times I want, it, I want something bigger than just my notepad. I need to write a longer list or I need to figure something out, do a bunch of math, <laughs> I need a bunch more room. And uh, these, these work, are gonna work perfect for that. So I tucked those in there and I'll show you what I did um, here in another set. I did some more with the daily pages actually. And then the back of the calendar page, I have Goal Crusher. I think I'm gonna write some goals for the year on this page. I think that will be a fun page to use for that. And then the calendar page, and I just, I added, um, there's a few die cuts in here. There's um, a little bit of stamping, a few stickers. And then I added some of the glitter dots, um, kind of right, kind of mixed in with these uh, watercolor ink splashes. So I liked that subtle effect there. I have to fill this in yet with my calendar. And then, let's see, I wanted to mention the puffy bird stickers. These, there's a number of them, if you look at their shapes, are the same shape, but they're mirror images. So like this one and this one, this little guy and this little guy, they're exactly the same, but they're mirror images. So what you can do, and I need to add a little more adhesive to mine, but you can put them back to back on a clip and make a little clip chopper out of them. How cute is that? So that's this little guy with the glasses. He's adorable. And I did that with um, a flying one as well. I just need to add a little, a little adhesive just to kind of keep that clip in there real tight. And then the other back of the calendar, just a couple of die cuts, a piece of chipboard. And then here are um, some of the daily pages from that uh, personal set. I don't know that I'll, I'll necessarily use this side. I'm probably gonna use this side. And what I wanted to do is just show you some ways that you can, so on this side, it says call or email. And I just wanted to cover that up because this is just gonna be for just, I, I don't know what kind of notes or lists I'm gonna need to do. So I wanted to show you some of the different options that you could use from all of our stickers, there's so many, <laughs> that you could put to cover up that. So there's a word bubble that I added on one uh, from our uh, faith or our Bible journaling set. There's um, a, a phrase sticker, today I pray for. There's uh, this cute little cloud sticker, and that one says every cloud has a silver lining. There was, uh, from one of the other sets, there was another phrase sticker, anything is possible. You can also just use a little label sticker and write in your own um, little header there. And then um, I just, and then I had a bunch of the today stickers that I used to just cover that up as well. So there's a number of different ways that you can cover up that section if you wanted to. And so I have lots of extra paper in here to write my lists. I'm really excited about that. And then when you receive your, and I can even show you on the personal size as well, when you receive your set of daily pages, they will start like this. Well, they're meant to be used as a two page spread like this. So what I do is I cover up this first page, which is what I've done here. So I've just used one of the dashboards, again, just a few of the um, glitter enamel dots and we um, coordinate the dots, colors, just exactly to, um, what, I, what I try to do is actually use these colors. I usually go from these colors when I select the glitter dots. So they'll definitely match everything in here, and so it's fun to just kind of put those amongst those uh, watercolors right there. So you flip it open, and here is your um, two-page spread for each day. And I always stamp the day of the week and the date. I've added in my little note card with the month on it. Just adding a puffy sticker, a couple die, uh, a die cut, and a couple of little glitter dots. And I hear Bodie. <laughs> and then I always make, I like to make a tag every month. And this one is from one of the four by six cards in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. 
And I like to be able to add that in here because I usually on the back of it will put a few of my um, sticky notes. And then I have those handy and it's not as bulky as, as trying to put the, the whole pad in there. And I just added um, a um, phrase sticker and a couple of uh, fussy cut little birds that I cut out from the um, Bodie. Stop it. From the printables. <laughs> and then I decorated the front. I cut it into a tag shape. And then I go on to my little uh, monthly to-do of things that I want to get done this month. And again, because the, um, the pockets were set up a little different, I didn't have a spot for my um, notepad. Well, and I wanted to use my notepad in my notepad holder, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I needed to have a few sheets of that in here as well to jot notes. And um, so I just tear off a couple and I put them on the back with a clip and I have those nice and handy. I cut out a pocket, added a couple of cloud die cuts and this cute little bird and of course another little quote. And I love this bright uh, paper with this plus paper that's so fun. Made, and I, I, put, I keep my stickers in there. I just add a little bow clip. And again, for this bookmark, I used one of the smaller dashboards. I cut that down and put it on there and just kind of layered it with some of the patterned paper, this cute little um, guy in his hat and scarf. And then I used another one of those TNMK cards and cut it down and used it as a bookmark. Now, I want to ask if anybody caught our fun little play on this card. So if you look really close and you don't see it unless you're unless you're really looking, but I wanted to point it out because we did it on purpose and it was kind of a fun little thing. If you go through and you see where it says don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, you'll see a few of them, the apostrophe is wrong. It's then a comma. So it's just, it's a little play on the fact that, you know, you might get it wrong, but keep trying. So. It's just, it's subtle. I don't know how many people caught it, but it was just kind of a fun little thing that we did. A little Easter egg in there. And so there's the daily pages. Oh, and we had these fun little um, dangle charm clips. There was two of those. Let me show you a little closer. One had a little bird, and then there's another one with a, with a saying on it. And I, I do not remember which kit those were in, so I'm not gonna say something wrong. <laughs> And then another one of the, um, the little puffy bird, uh, buff, puffy stickers that I turned into a clip there. And another printable that I ran through for my monthly um, dated list of items that never change. It's, it's always what things that I have to try and make sure get done on time each month. And I used some of that cute um, bird paper on there. And... Then I'm just going to flip through and show you the rest of my dashboards. And then I, again, I took the, the smaller size ones and I make those into little um, subcategories in here. So you can see where I did that. And then this is super cute. This was an idea and, and I, I, I did this for a couple reasons. I did it first of all because it's adorable and it's an amazing idea. And secondly, because I want to show you the, the type of stuff that if you go to our Facebook page, um, the Coco Daisy Planner Fan, the Planner Fan page is, you really need to join if you've not joined. There's so much information. It's a wonderful community. And um, we have someone on there, her, her I don't know, I apologize, I don't know her name, but she posts as the Loopy Planner. And she posted the cutest setup and she had taken a bunch of clouds and put them all at the top of her page, at the top of her pages. So when her planner was closed, you could see all of these cute little clouds on top. So I did that toward the end here because I wanted to show you that and I wanted to point out um, what she had shared in our community. There's so much inspiration. So please, please join that if you're not a part of it. Um, and, and join in and, and look at all of the, our DT posts, our design team posts a ton of stuff on there as well. There's just so much information and it's a wonderful group of people. So I'm just gonna flip through and you can see where I added all those little clouds. That was just such a fun idea. 
And every month, I've not printed it out yet, but every month we offer a tracker that um, is designed to go with the kit. And um, that tracker you can you can purchase. And it, it comes in, in the, in the bundle that you get, there's a bunch of different sizes, so it will work with just about any size planner you have. And um, the artwork that's in it will match the kit, and you can um, use it as a tracker. And then I have just my little, this was from, actually from December, but I thought the colors were so cute. I used it again, my little extra pen holder. And then the Kiki K planners come with a notepad in the back. It's a larger notepad. And again, as I said, always looking for more paper to write notes on. But I didn't want to um, just leave it plain like this. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to use, I wanted to cover, make a little cover for it. And my favorite paper that Jamie did um, Jamie is one of our designers and she does um, probably the vast majority of the, um, the artwork that's in our uh, collection along with Leah and then this month um, Arlie did the little birds for us so I just wanted to point that out but this this paper is one of my absolute favorites so I just made uh, just cut it to size I did a little um, scalloped edge on the bottom I don't know if you can see that and again, that's Bodhi, sorry. <laughs> and then I just attached it with a little bit of washi tape. So it was real simple to just attach it to um, the little notepad. So that is my planner setup. Now what I wanted to do is show you a couple of other things. So I'm just gonna kind of move that out of the way for now. I mentioned, so these are a couple of the other items that we had in um, in the collection these are sold separately and i ordered enough to just kind of because the colors are so beautiful and bright and they kind of go with just about almost any month i ordered extras of these to just keep in the store so we do have this is our sticker album and in this you can see where you can you can put stickers in the pocket it has all of these clear pages that you can slide your sticker sheets in and there's a lot in here and you can fill this you can fill that baby up really big so that's a little sticker album oh and there's the back and the notepad cover is if you've not seen one of these these are a lot of fun so I'll take this out so I can show you so what you do is you can slide a little notepad in there it has a pen holder and then you can take this and you can throw that in your purse, throw that in your pouch, take it with you with your planner, and you have a great little um, way to be able to keep notes on the go. Honey, what are you crying about? I'm not sure why he's crying. <laughs> so anyway, sorry for that, but you can um, put the little notepad in there. A lot of people like to take our mini dories which are these little ones, a little mini or pocket. And that you can, um, I like to just slide it right into the little pocket. But some people have actually converted um, this notepad holder. And I think if you look up in our design team, we have some videos that show how they do it, where they've punched holes and actually strung it like you would a, um, like a traveler's notebook or a, um, this is one of our other TN covers. So they've actually strung it like this so that you can put it in there in that way. But I like to just kind of slide it in the side. And again, all the more room for note taking. So that is our notepad cover and our sticker album. And those are in the store. And then I wanted to show you the adorable pouch. How cute is that? Stuff goes in here. I mean, this. I'm going to use this all the time. And it has the black zipper and the little black tassel. So that's a big part of the collection. There's a couple other new things that I'm going to talk about. So what I wanted to talk about is our, um, we had a pocket memory keeping kit. And we've changed that just slightly. 
and it is now called the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And the reason that uh, we changed it up just a little bit is there are so many different forms of memory keeping now. Uh, there's the traditional 12 by 12, there's mini albums, there's six by eight, there's pockets, there's, um, there's so many different sizes, so many different ways. I wanted to create a kit that really is a little more inclusive and it gives me the ability to, to show you a lot of different ways to memory keep. So I'm excited about it because like our Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, I include an instruction sheet. And with that instruction sheet, I will will explore some of these different ways of memory keeping and um, hopefully give you a lot of inspiration, give you a lot of ideas on how to use the product. That's kind of one of my biggest things that I, I try to do more and more. And this way it gives me that opportunity to do is to when we work on the designs and when I think of different items that I want to have in the kits, there's always ideas in my head on how to use them. And this gives me the opportunity to uh, share some of those with you. And that's via that instruction sheet. So I'm excited um, about all of the creative ways I get to show you how to use product and ins hopefully inspire you. So one of the things that I did um, in the Modern Memory keep Keeping Kit, using what was in the kit, I created a 12 by 12 layout. And you can see that here, if I can get it all in the frame. And I kept it very neutral, very black and white. Um, the only color really that's in here, there's a little bit of the pale blue, but most of the color is from the photograph and the, um, the kind of olive green um, alpha stickers. But I used, so I used some of our paper in here, I used washi tape, I used um, one of the chipboards, and I used one of the pocket cards. So I, again, it's me trying to show you how to stretch all of these items, how you can scrapbook on a 12 by 12 um, layout using the items that are in the kit. We had this fun little notepad, uh, which I thought was perfect for layering that I kind of tucked behind the photograph there. So that's my 12 by 12 layout. And that these are both on the instruction sheet. So there's step-by-step instructions on how to do both of these. And then I created this fun mini album. And uh, yours came, uh, I, didn't, I didn't have one here, but yours came with a, a silver um, ring so that you could bind it as well. I just happen to have a white one here at home. But this is one of the four by six cards. And then all I did, and this is not finished, what I did is, is I used a bunch of pictures um, for example, and then, um, but you could easily make this a head and then go in, and which is I did on a few pages, and add things through the month. But here are some of the three by four cards that I added in here. And the die cut set that came with it had the days of the week, these fun little circles. And I just added those along the top to kind of make this these fun little tab feature. A little bit of chipboard. And what I did is the kit comes with a few sheets of uh, six by eight cardstock. And what I love about the cardstock that we have in the kit is unlike most cardstock, most 12 by 12 white cardstock, there's always a texture to it. The cardstock that we have in the kit that is the six by eight is, is um, smooth. So it's perfect for stamping. So if you wanna stamp and cut things out or if you want a nice crisp image, it, it will do that on this cardstock. But what I like is you can cut it in half perfectly and get pages that go with the four by six um, card. So it made the perfect pages for my mini album. Added some pattern paper, some more pattern paper. I made a tag out of some of the, the pattern paper, some of the die cuts. And again, remember those have adhesive backing on them. So they stick, which is nice. And then I thought this uh, resolutions card was so fun. So I thought, well, it would be fun to have a couple little spreads that talk about um, New Year's resolutions. I thought that little piece of chipboard breaking old habit was fun. 
So I'll have to fill that in. And then on this one, I actually used some of the packaging. This little blue polka dot is actually some of the packaging that um, some of the items are packed in in the kit. So I cut that up and used it. Little Bodie Boo, my little troublemaker. And again, some more of the chipboard. I did a little bit of the stamping. And I stamped the little bird on one of the cards. The more or less, I thought that would be a fun one to fill out. And I thought this polka dot paper was fun. I added a couple little glitter dots in there. And then here are some of the blank pages that I talked to you about that I can go in and add this month and make a mini album. Now, obviously you can make a mini album about anything, but I thought it would just kind of be fun to do one um, for the month. Added some washi tape along the bottom of that one. And this was another uh, four by six card. So how fun is that? And then, so that is part of, uh, as I mentioned, the modern, uh, the new modern memory keeping kit. And then I wanted to just show you the layouts in our traveler's notebook memory keeping kit. I just wanted to show you a couple of the layout, the two layouts that I did because this one shows, as I mentioned, we did those um, traveler's notebook memory keeping cards that are now included with the kit. And I wanted to show you how that looks when you put that in one of the layouts. And then I used some of that scribble stamping, which I think is so fun. And then I used some more of that scribble stamping on this layout with Zach and Bodie Boo. A little bit along the bottom and just a little bit there and there was a little underlined scribble. So I just wanted to share those with you. And again, those, um, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit also has an instruction sheet and I go through step by step on how to do those as well. Next, I wanted to show you, I'm so excited, the um, our brand new Daisy Planner. And I'm really, really excited about this. I did um, a short video uh, kind of walking through it. You can find that on our channel. But I wanted to talk a little bit more because I've actually started setting mine up and there was a few things that I forgot to mention. Um, that I wanted to share with you and just kind of show you how I've started using mine. One of the things I wanted to mention is you can purchase these either um, bound or unbound. So you can get it with the coil, you can get it unpunched and unbound, and you can then punch it. A lot of people have ordered it that way and they use it like with an arc system so you can um, add or take away pages. So you can do that or you can get it with the coil. If you do get it with the coil, you may notice, and when you look at it, you go, that's a really large coil. Why is that so big? Well, there's a, there's a very specific reason why I wanted that larger coil, is as you memory keep in this, because it's meant to be used for planning and memory keeping, or memory planning, um, you're gonna add bulk. There's, just, there's no way around it. Even if you used just flat stickers, you're going to add bulk. Um, but I tend to use um, puffy stickers, puffy alphas, a little bit of die cuts, sometimes some chipboard. So I do end to add, do tend to add a little bit of bulk to mine. So what I didn't want to do, if you start out with a tight, tighter coil, then you end up with a planner that's, you know, like this because of all the bulk that you've added to it and it doesn't lay flat. If you start out with a larger coil like that, it gives you some room to add in that bulk and with, without it going Kitty wampus like that, that it will it will lay more flat because you've given that extra coil. So that's why there is a larger coil on there. That was totally an intended thing. But you may purchase it with a coil or without. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, we included sticker um, sheets with this. Part of the reason we did that, and oh, I should back up. So there was a bit of a shipping delay. We didn't get these in time, but we wanted to get these out as soon as we could. So what we did, we went ahead and sent out the planners. If you have a subscription with us, we made a note and these will be in your box. Um, if not, we, we have sent them out to you. But part of the reason we included these sticker sheets is if you, um, if you missed out on the original pre-order, or you missed out when we when we first listed the order in December and you're worried about, well, I don't want to spend the money 
because I'm going to miss a whole month. Well, what we've done is we've we've extended the shelf life on this a little bit for people who haven't heard about it or um, maybe it was too close to Christmas and you've you've spent most of your budget and now you maybe have a little Christmas money and you would like to purchase one. Uh, you can and you can still get six months worth of use out of it because the only thing that's dated in here are the tabs and the calendar and we've included enough stickers to change those. So you can change that to fit your needs as to even when you purchase it. Um, obviously there's this on here on the back of this as well, but as far as the pages that you use, everything else is undated except for the tab has the month and then the calendar. And you can change that with these stickers. So those come with it. So that just kind of extends the shelf life on that a little bit. It is something brand new that we started. We hope that you're enjoying it. I am having a lot of fun with it. I wanted to talk a little bit about, before I dive in and show you how I've used the stickers, I wanted to talk a little bit about our sticker kits because we added two of them to our lineup. Um, and I'll show you those in a moment. So these, I just, frankly, I, I get all of the stickers. <laughs> And use them. I mix and I mix them up and use them with everything. But I I'm going to try and tell you a little bit um, because it can get confusing because there is so many. Which ones? What stickers are kind of intended for what? So just bear with me as I walk through this a little bit. So there's a Daisy Week sticker kit, and that has um, I believe there's about six sheets in here. You'll have to look at the site for. I've got mine all mixed up, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Don't quote me on any of this. Just you have to go look at the website. But the um, the Daisy Week sticker kit and the calendar uh, Daisy Weeks calendar sticker kit. These work if you get our our Daisy Weeks booklet, which is about the size. Actually, it's the exact size of Hobonichi Weeks. So it's that same idea, but ours has um, only three months in it. So again, so it gives you the opportunity to kind of build up in there a little bit uh, without having a whole year in one, in one booklet, which can make, again, for that whole wide thing. Plus, we wanted to use our paper, which is wonderful for stamping on and, um, and so on. So it gives you a little bit more... Um, versatility there. But so this is the most recent Daisy Weeks. And then I wanted to show you how a layout looks with the stickers. So here is the monthly spread. And you can see where we've used these um, the, from the calendar stickers. And you can see how those then are laid out and used on there to go around on the calendar. That's why they're the calendar sticker kit. And then as you go through, you can see how the other sheets are used um, on the other pages. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little look at how to do that. So though that's the two Daisy Weeks sticker kits. And again, I use them on everything. I mix and match, but so one of the new um, one of the new sets that we have this month is a Bible journaling uh, sticker kit. And these are more of a faith-based, if you do Bible, if you do Bible journaling in your Bible, if you do a gratitude journal, um, if you just kind of like to keep track of Scripture or anything like that, these are great. This is a great set to use for that. And there are um, there are six sheets in here. So the, and there's always a sheet of the vellum with these beautiful sayings. And there's an alpha sheet in there. Um, so these are really, really fun. And that is the, um, the Bible journaling set. That is the new one, what we have on the website. And the other new one that we did is this Daisy add-on sticker kit. And I believe there's four sheets in here. Uh, yes, there's four sheets in this one. This is also a new one. These are meant to go, these do not have any of the, um, the boxes, like for instance, the memory keeping set would have. These are just decoration. These are strictly, these will work in any sort of planning or memory keeping that you do or memory planning that you do. They're just strictly for fun. They're just strictly decoration. So these are a fun set to have. And that is new as well. And that's the Daisy add-on sticker kit. 
Now, then we have our traditional that we've had for a little while. We have our classic planner sticker kit. We have our memory keeping sticker kit and our planner sticker kit. So I will break these down just a little bit for you. So the classic planner sticker kit is going to fit more if you use like a um, if you use an I believe this is the size that works with the Erin Condren or no I take that back sorry I knew I was going to say that wrong that's why I hesitated the classic planner sticker kit will work with if you use the classic size happy planner that's what these boxes are made to fit with and again so it has the deco boxes it has um, some sayings, it has an alpha sheet. So that's what the classic planner sticker kit will work with. The memory keeping sticker kit is meant to work with the larger size happy planner. So these boxes will fit in the larger size happy planner and these will actually fit in, let me show you, because I put one in here somewhere in our uh, daisy planner as well. So the memory keeping sticker kit, these boxes are meant the width will fit in ours. And then there's the planner sticker kit. These are a little bit, um, and I only have three sheets here. I think this one has, I don't remember how many this one has, but I used them somewhere and I can't find them. So it's not just three sheets, it's more than that. So disregard how many sheets I have in my hand. But the planner sticker kit, these boxes will work in the, um, in the smaller Erin Condren, I believe. So there is that. But I just, like I said, I just kind of mix and match and use them all. So here is my calendar. And I did a bunch of stamping. I used a bunch of stickers. I used some washi tape. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in, I have to add more stuff to it, but I just started the other day and I was having a lot of fun with it. And then the one of the things that I wanted to talk about real quick here and then um, I will be done. So if you, this system is set up to be a continuation. So if you, for instance, and I'll try and explain this as best as I can so it's not confusing. So January starts on a Friday the 1st. So if you count all the way through, you end up with the 31st being on a Sunday. And then that is the end of your week of. So you have just enough pages for that month. So then when you go to February, your first will start right on Monday, and then you'll go through. And if I remember counting correctly, the 28th of February, again, ends on a Sunday. So that, you have just enough pages for that. So then March, again, starts on a Monday, so your first would be on Monday. Now, this is where I can show you exactly what I'm talking about, that it's a continuation through the six months. I didn't want to, because you're doing memory planning and, um, and you're trying to do your planning, to me, it makes no sense. And again, this is just me, but I was trying to, to think as logically as I could as uh, how to format this for everyone. If, for instance, March ends on a Wednesday, the 31st. So let's go to the last set here. So this is the 31st. So if I'm planning my week, this is March, ends on the 31st. I'm looking at my whole week. I'm going to start April 1st here. So I would date this one, two, three, and four because that's my whole week. I wouldn't want to start here, then flip to April, and then start on Thursday for and be going back and forth to see my week. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have an extra set of pages in here to duplicate either. So to me, it makes more sense. It's more fluid to just have a continuation. So March ends on the 31st. So you would then date on this set, April 1, 2, 3, and 4. So then 
the 5th of April, April 5th is a Monday. So then you would start your Monday the 5th and go through. So that's what I mean by a continuation. And there are enough pages for that in each section for you to continue through. We didn't add extra pages. I didn't want to add bulk, unnecessary bulk. It was a big thing that I didn't want because as I said, when you memory plan, you do add bulk as it is. And I wanted it to be fluid. Now, with that said, I did make sure because just in case you decide um, that you don't want to buy the next one in July, which I totally encourage you to do, but if for some reason you don't or can't, um, there we did add an extra one so that you have a f it doesn't continue on into into July and you're left hanging with June. But for the other months, it's a completely fluid continuation from month to month. I hope I explained that well enough that that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave it in the comments below and I can try and explain it again. But the idea is to, to be able to look at a section, if part of that section is one month and part is the other, that you can see it all at once. And you can record it in your memory planning all at once as well. So that's the intent with that. And I'm hoping that this weekend, I'm excited, I want to start playing with the memory keeping section. I can't wait to start this. So I'm a little behind, not too far behind, so I'm excited to sit down and uh, get really creative with all of the stickers and the stamps and um, set up my memory keeping in that. So that's a little bit more about our Daisy Planner. And thanks for joining me today. I know it was a lot and um, we'll see you next month.